Thanks, Jacqueline. Now we start with breaking news this morning. Greensboro police are investigating a shooting that left one person hurt. Officials say they responded to Silverbrook Court in Greensboro around 3.20 this morning. Officers found one person with a gunshot wound. We're told they were taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Officers described the victim as being stable at this hour. Authorities have a suspect in custody. No further information about them has been released. They say the investigation is ongoing. The Forsyth County Sheriff's Office says a man is facing charges after a deputy was killed in a car crash while on duty. The Sheriff's Office says Deputy Sheriff Austin Rudel Huber died on Highway 150 around 515 yesterday morning. Investigators say Rudel Huber was killed after a box truck hit his police cruiser. They say the driver of the box truck, William Benton, was not physically wounded, but he is facing charges of misdemeanor death by motor vehicle, reckless driving and driving left of center. The sheriff's office has a patrol vehicle on display in front of the detention center in downtown Winston-Salem to mourn his loss. There is also a GoFundMe up for the deputy's family. It's already raised over $11,000. Rudel Huber joined the sheriff's office back in 2021. He was also a military veteran, having served in the United States Army. Haywood County deputies say a man is waking up in jail this morning after a shooting at Lake Junaluska. Officials say 35 year old Christopher McNeely of Cullowee is facing multiple charges, including assault with a deadly weapon inflicting serious injury. Deputies say he was arrested after one person was hospitalized yesterday. The victim's injuries are non life threatening. Authorities believe the victim and McNeely knew each other. There was a shelter in place warning yesterday starting at one o'clock. It was lifted shortly after two. McNeely is in jail on a $750,000 secure bond. Winston-Salem police say they are investigating a stabbing that killed one person and injured another. Officials say 24-year-old Demar Singletary died. Police say it started with a fight that led to a stabbing at an apartment. Both Singletary and another person were injured. Police say the two men then got into a car and hit a pedestrian on Moses Lucas Court Friday night around 1130. Though Singletary died, the others involved are in stable condition. So far, no information on who stabbed the two men has been released, but the investigation is ongoing. And the Winston-Salem Fire Department put out a fire on Glen Avenue yesterday. The fire department tells us no one was injured. They say this was at Omin Ominous Source, a scrap metal processor. Although that area on Glen Avenue was closed for a while, it has since been reopened. And in Iredell County, a 16-year-old girl is dead after a car crash. Highway Patrol say it happened around 3.20 yesterday morning on Brawley School Road. The driver, 16-year-old Stella Grace Bright, died at the scene. Troopers say she had swerved off the road, hit a tree, then hit a rock wall. Two juveniles in the car were hospitalized with injuries. Troopers believe speed was a factor in this crash. After delaying the start of the new year, students in Alamance Burlington schools will head back to class tomorrow. This comes after the start was pushed back twice after mold was discovered in more than 25 schools over the summer. All buildings have been remediated and third party post remediation hygienists conducted additional testing over the weekend to ensure that it was safe for students to return. The district does plan to post air quality results once all testing is complete and the results are back for the public to be able to view. Students will be on a three hour delay to starting tomorrow morning.